Welcome to the tutorial for how to use your custom GPT by William McCraney of Canvas Culture 23. Hello, I'm Sugar of Learning Pretty Academy. Are you loving the beautiful fashion dolls included in your bundle? Would you like even more like those? Well, today I'm going to show you how I arrived at the darling blue dolls that you see on your right. I'm also going to show you tips and tricks for generating endless variations of fashion chibi dolls, pretty scenes, props, and ideas with this stunning custom GPT. Please note that the doll and GPT bundle shown in this video is an example and may not be the same bundle that you have purchased. However, the art GPTs and all of the chibi bundles by William McCraney will work the same. Let's look at just some of the stunning dolls available by Canvas Culture 23 and then we'll get started. Hello, welcome to Canvas Culture 23. My name is Sugar on behalf of William McCraney. Today, I'm going to show you how to access and use the custom GPT that came along with your beautiful bundle. The PDF downloaded with your ITSY purchase will give you access to downloading your beautiful clip art. And then once you review the tutorial that's included here, look on the last page to access the custom GPT in your chat GPT account. Please note that a chat GPT plus account is needed in order to work with the GPT. Once you click on the GPT to access it, you will come to this screen. Okay, so what we have here is a custom GPT by William McCraney, and it's to create more dolls and scenes and ideas, give you ideas about fashion and everything related to resemble close to the bundle that you have purchased. But if you want to do something different, Chat, B Chat GPT allows you to switch things up very easily once you get started. So I suggest that you use one of the conversation starters that's included here first, just to make sure that it's giving you a look close to what's, what was intended um, by William McCraney in order to match the bundle that you purchased. Okay, so so let's just click on one of them here. You have blonde dreadlocks hair, mohawk dreadlocks hair, updo dreadlocks hair, and short dreadlocks hair. Let's just click on one of them. Let's try the mohawk. And so now it's going to render an image for us. And here we go. What a beautiful image. But just in case it renders sideways like that, although it is usable, I'm going to show you a trick right quick to hopefully fix that. So we can type in, please render in a square format. And hopefully that'll fix. And then that worked much better. So now we have some images close to the ones that you saw included in your package. So now from at this point, we can switch it up and change it up to kind of do what we want. So let's say we did want this color. Let's say, please change her outfit to blue pants and matching shades 
of blue accessories. And let's see what we get. And then also, if you wanted to get one model on a page, you could ask for that too. We'll see with this render, and if not, we'll ask for one model at a time. Okay, so this is what it gave us. Now, let's say you do not want the mohawk hair. We could go back and ask for a different hairstyle. Please try again with the dreads in a updo style. Let's try that. And we're going to skip a little closer to when it's rendered. And this is what it gave us. Very nice. So let's say now that we've changed her clothes to blue, we want her hair to match. We can say, please give her blue hair. And let's go ahead and, and ask for one model per page. Please also... Give me only one model per image. And we'll fast forward to the render image. Well, that didn't give us one per page. But I do like the images. So, you know, you could crop these out, um, expand images in Canva, or also um, insert other backgrounds. Let's try this. Please give me the model on a clean white background. Let's say if we didn't want the scenes right now. And we'll fast forward to the rendered image. And that's awesome. And there you go. So that's how we can get images from scenes to more clip art dolls like the beautiful ones that you purchased right there. And then if you want some ideas, I'm going to click to this screen of me using this GPT earlier. And I had asked for more conversation starters. So I just asked, what are some conversations, conversation starters? And then what it's going to do is give me more ideas um, for fashion, chibi dolls, and prompts and things like that to create. So right here, it like I said, what is your favorite fashion trend right now? How would you adapt that um, to a chibi style? If you could design a chibi character's outfit, what key elements would you include? And then I asked for it to give me some more here so you can see how it gave me um, a whole bunch more. Let's just scroll down and read one of these. What's your opinion on the use of bold patterns and prints in chibi clothing designs? So all of this is to give you ideas of what to put in your prompts and what to write about and also let's go back here so you know when you click on this click on your images and you click on a little information button right here you have a whole new prompt to use and if you like that prompt then you could um, grab that prompt from there you can go into Dolly 3 and I like to go in Dolly 3 because it always gives you more images. Um, a lot of times we, when we render in the GPTs or render in the regular conversation, chat GPT-4 conversations, it gives us one image at a time. But if you render in Dolly 3, then it will give you two images at a time a lot of, a lot of times. So we're just going to paste that same um, prompt in here and we're going to go again and see what we get. And we'll just fast forward to the rendered images. And those are some nice images that they gave us right there. Beautiful. So, of course, you know that you can rotate 
this image right here and you can crop these out individually easily in Canva or an editor of your choice. And then of course when we click on these we have some new prompts as well. Okay. And so just to show you how easy it is to go back to creating scenes, let's say we wanted to say, please give me the model in a night life scene with plenty of city lights and let's see what it gives us and there you have it we're right back to pretty scenes just like that aren't those beautiful I just love them and again we have a whole new prompt to use so if you want to take this prompt and put it back into Dali 3 um, it could give you many more prompts to play with and render and I'll show you that in just a minute so right here what we're doing is we're just going to do a few more images until we get what we want and sometimes it's going to give you what you want and sometimes it's not but don't count out these images that's cropped out because it's still lots of things that you can do with those So you can see right here, they did give us more of the shoes and the hair within the image on one of the sides, but we'll keep playing with the images until we get what we want. And right here is still cutting a little bit too much off. So we're going to say, please show full body from head to toe. And we'll see what that gives us. Wow, and here we go. What beautiful images to use. And keep in mind, even though it gave us two models, we can totally remove these models from the background. Or you can use something called Magic Grab inside of Canva, which allows you to lift the models off of the image and still keep the background totally intact. So you can keep the model that you like best for a completely new finished image to use. So before we end this tutorial, we're right back inside of the Sassy Chibi Fashionista GPT and I would like to show you how to get more variations of the prompts that you have rendered. So any of these images that you like, you can click on the image and get the prompt here and paste the prompt in here and ask for it to give you variations of the prompt. Or if you like this image right here, let's just say, please give me written variations for the prompt of the last image and it doesn't have to be exact like that you know you can write what you want and we just asked for written because we're going back and forth between rendering images. So right now we want them to give us prompts and not the actual image. So right here, it should give us four prompts. Probably about four is what it's usually going to give us. Yep. And so it says, these variations maintain the core elements of the original prompt while adding different descriptive touches. And if you want to render those prompts... You can choose whichever one you would like to render, or you can say render all four. So we'll look through our prompts and see which one we like. Let's try rendering prompt two. And then it should render us an image. And there you go, another beautiful, stunning image from the prompt that we asked for. So I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial on how to use your custom GPT by William McCraney. If you should have any more questions, please click on the Canvas Culture 23 logo found in your PDF to take you to the Etsy shop where you can message William personally. Thank you and hope you enjoy. 
This video has been brought to you by Sugar with Brown Sugar Creates of Learning Pretty AI and Learning Pretty Academy with Canvas Culture 23.